James Webb Space Telescope's seven new images scares the entire space industry. Hi everyone, welcome to our channel Space Light. Is there anything you can anticipate from a $10 billion space observatory that made the entire globe pause for breath during its launch and deployment? The James Webb Space Telescope is settling in nicely at its new location and it's already beaming back images of the cosmos. The most recent images are breathtaking and have shocked the whole space community. How and why has the James Webb Space Telescope's newest images captured the world's attention? Less attention has been paid to space telescopes than the James Webb Space Telescope. In addition to the James Webb Space Telescope, fewer telescopes were also delayed and no telescopes cost as much. The James Webb Space Telescope is a joint effort between the European Space Agency, NASA and the Canadian Space Agency, CSA. However, the Hubble Space Telescope is being replaced by the James Webb Space Telescope because astronomers and scientists require stronger equipment to assist us and better comprehend our universe and its beginnings. James Webb Space Telescope was developed and tested for a long period and was almost scrapped by the government. The telescope's primary mirror, which was 2.7 times bigger in diameter and roughly 6 times larger in surface, had to be folded and split into 18 pieces to fit aboard the launch vehicle. No astronauts were ever going to be sent out to fix or refill the James Webb Space Telescope due to the remote location. But the James Webb Space Telescope reached its final destination around one month later with its trademark heat shields deployed with no problems. The James Webb Space Telescope was able to preserve enough fuel to virtually double in size during the launch. Engineers must develop a technique to refuel the telescope 1 million miles distant if it is to last its anticipated lifespan. NASA engineers and scientists have been hard at work setting it up since it arrived. For months, several telescope pieces have to be set up and calibrated, and all of them must be tested as they go, taking pictures as a part of the exams. In February, the JWST captured its first image, an 18-star mosaic. The picture you're looking at is HD 84406, a single brilliant star in the Ursa Major constellation. Because mirror parts were still being aligned, the star appeared in 18 distinct positions. JWST's unaligned mirror segments reflected light into the telescope's detectors, resulting in the seemingly chaotic capture. It was an essential component of Webb's preparation for taking breathtaking photos of the universe. Two or three weeks after that, the James Webb Space Telescope managed to get another shot of the star. NASA finished focusing on the primary mirror of the James Webb Space Telescope on March 11th, and the difference was obvious. In the end, the accuracy achieved exceeded everyone's expectations. On the 16th of March 2022, NASA published this beautiful image of two-star MESS J1755-4042-65-1277. The image was crucial because it demonstrated that NASA scientists achieved the telescope's honeycomb mirror design by perfectly aligning its 18 main mirror segments. One of several steps the James Webb Space Telescope has taken to begin its journey into space has taken another stride forward. Considering that the 18 different pictures were aligned into a single point of light focused within an accuracy of 50 nanometers, this was a price worth paying. This is a tiny fraction of the infrared light's wavelength, yet it's enough to see several galaxies in the image background when a star is in focus. As of the end of April, NASA was optimistic that its four strong research equipment on board the James Webb Space Telescope would be able to provide high-resolution, well-focused photos. A decision was made that the James Webb Space Telescope could proceed to its final set of preparations known as Science Instrument Commissioning after completing the seventh and final stage of telescope alignment, which is expected to take about two months before the James Webb Space Telescope is opened to scientific operations in the summer. For the first time, NASA had made additional public photographs taken by the telescope showing its whole view range. She is the name Lee Feinberg. According to the James Webb Space Telescope Optical Telescope Element Manager, and the photographs demonstrated what could be accomplished when people from various backgrounds collaborated. Engineers were still amazed by the JWST's optical performance. Now that each instrument receives light from the telescope's mirrors, it can capture photos using the light it receives from space. Diffraction limits the picture quality given to all equipment. As a general rule, a telescope's ability to discern fine detail is limited by the telescope's size. Because of this, the primary mirror segments don't need to be altered much by NASA's engineering team. Those photographs that you're seeing now are engineering images of perfectly aligned and focused stars in the area of vision of each sensor. The James Webb Space Telescope captured a dense field of hundreds of thousands of stars in this test which was aimed towards a section of the enormous Magellanic Cloud, a tiny galaxy that orbits the Milky Way. 
You may notice that the photographs have different sizes and are positioned unexpectedly. Webb's instruments are shown in the telescope's focal plane concerning one another, each pointing at a somewhat different portion of the sky. In addition to the near spec, which is a spectrograph but can collect pictures for partnerships and target acquisition, there are three imaging devices on the telescope. Micro shutter arrays include several hundred thousand adjustable shutters that may be open or closed to pick the light fed into the spectrograph. This results in black patches and some comparable spec data. In addition, the observatory is trained using a precision guiding sensor that keeps track of guide stars. The two sensors aren't designed for scientific photography, but they can take photographs like this one in collaboration. The picture data is utilized to evaluate image sharpness and quantify and calibrate small image distortions and sensor alignment. NASA began commissioning the science instruments on board after the alignment was complete. Detectors with different lenses, masks and filters are among these. To ensure thermal stability when changing targets, the observatory will be pointed at various locations in the sky where the total quantity of solar radiation reaching the observatory will fluctuate. Meanwhile, NASA has released a fresh set of photographs taken by the James Webb Space Telescope and they are the most amazing. In this image, taken with the James Webb Space Telescope's mid-infrared sensor, a previously unseen piece of the huge megalenic cloud is shown at 7.7 .7 microns, making it the first time this part of the cloud has been observed. Smaller than our galaxy Milky Way, the LMC is an ideal proving ground for Webb's next-generation capabilities because of its dense star fields, the picture contrasts a zoomed-in portion of the Miri image with a previous image of the same target region that NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope uses an infrared array camera. This was one of the earliest infrared observatories to provide high-resolution photographs of the universe near and mid-infrared. James Webb Space Telescope's photographs of the Spitzer are not out of the ordinary and it is not strange that they do so. The DEW telescope's 18 mirror segments are individually larger than the Spitzer's single mirror section. Scientists may expect a crisper picture of the infrared sky from the James Webb Space Telescope thanks to its primary mirror and upgraded detectors, which might lead to discoveries in deep space astronomy. For example, the image created by the James Webb Space Telescope displays the emission from polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons or molecules of carbon and hydrogen that play an essential role in interstellar gases, thermal balance and chemistry. These MIRI investigations will help astronomers find new facts about the formation of stars and protoplanetary systems when the James Webb Space Telescope is ready to begin scientific observations. The James Webb Space Telescope could be ready for work by July based on the amount of progress documented. Scientists won't say officially, but we'll love to hear what you say about the James Webb Space Telescope. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, share, like and comment for today. See you in the next video.